I just want to thank you, members. Um, for the most part, it's been very respectful and thoughtful um, debate down here. And, and I really appreciate that, members of the press, uh, the lobby, visitors in the gallery. I thank you for your attention today and for being here because it is an historic day and vote and one that we take very, very seriously for a very good reason. But it's also a very straightforward vote. We don't have to diminish the stories that we heard today about what the victims have experienced by comparing them to past stories. We're talking about a vote to expel Steve Lebsock. We have this tool, this is our tool, to correct a terrible climate in this building, to correct a wrong that has been wrong for a very long time, at least to put our first step forward towards it. You do have a choice today. You can vote to expel a serial sexual harasser, or do not. You have the responsibility here to hold accountable, a powerful politician for unacceptable behavior, or do not. You have the obligation to listen to your constituents, to stand up for what's right and reject the blatant retaliation that has been described for hours harmful, vicious attacks on victims. I hope today that I'll be thanking you for your yes vote. I hope that when you consider the evidence, you consider it through a lens or a standard of common sense. The evidence before us is lengthy and dense and very clear and very convincing. But I am not one of the talented lawyers in the group. I'm judging it because I have a lot of common sense. And there are five women who came forward to tell us stories of 11 instances that have been found credible. I hope I thank you for honoring your responsibility to protect victims in this building from their aggressor. I hope I can thank you for honoring your obligation to the public, for protecting the lobbyists in the lobby, the nonpartisan staff, the aides, the interns, and yes, our fellow members from this kind of harassment in the workplace. And your yes vote today will signal to citizens all across the state many of whom have joined us to watch and are sitting with us in the gallery, many who couldn't be here today, but many, many who are watching us. Perhaps some young women that are considering public service or advocacy, participating in this process to make life better for other Coloradans. We don't want to deter them. We want to prove to them that when called upon, we will not condone the intimidating, threatening, sexual harassment that we're discussing today. That we believe those who are able to come forward. There are a lot of people who are not able to come forward for whatever reason, and we need to respect that, but there are a lot of people who are not coming forward. I believe them too. When victims of this type of behavior see that we don't believe them, that we don't take action, it discourages other women from coming forward. It is a real symptom of our inaction. So I would like to be able to be proud of my chamber today and come back to my community, my family, my friends, our staff, our colleagues, and say we did the right thing today. And we're not gonna condone it anymore. And when you come forward, you will be believed. 
Enough is enough. You all know that I have an eight-month-old daughter named Isabel. And I was uh, rocking her to sleep last night. And I was thinking about it. She can't talk, right? So I can't discuss this with her. But Many of you have daughters, nieces, granddaughters, mothers, friends, sisters, best friends, bosses. And I was thinking about when I was going to be able to tell her down the line about what we did here today. How shocked she would be to hear that this behavior was actually at one time condoned anywhere, let alone in the workplace. Because hopefully by then, that won't occur anymore. That I can say with pride that we stood up. This is literally a stand up, be counted moment. I can tell her with pride that we stood up and we took a step forward and we did the right thing to protect people like her in their workplace. I hope, I hope that's the conversation that I have with my daughter. I really do. And I am hopeful yet, as I stand here right now. I heard a number of folks say they really want to do something, but they were unsure that this was the action. And I respect that, I do, as I respect all of you. However, this is the question. This is the thing we are being asked to do right now, today. To show women all across the state and honestly all across the country that we won't condone this behavior anymore, that we believe the victims, that we will take a stand, and we will take action on behalf of everyone who lives here, everyone who has to work in this building and everyone who has to work in their own workplaces. It is our responsibility today to stand up for our constituents, our families, our friends, our loved ones. And it's the, our duty to the public. I rise in support of this resolution. And I thank you so very much for considering to vote yes. Thank you.